Now joining me is Elliot Pfizer. He graduated from Joliet last year, and now he's a Spartan uh, basketball player here at ECC. Um, since you're new to Spartans basketball, why don't you tell fans a little bit about yourself? 6'3", um, I play 3 to 4, interchangeable, so it's the 2. Um, very good defense, very good team player. I love encourage, encouraging my teammates to do better anything. If I'm not doing any better, I feel like they should push me. We always talk. I try to encourage them as much. Um, I'm a very positive person. Very caring and loving, family person. Um, school is very important. You know, take care of things on the school um, side first, then it comes my second home, the basketball court. So everything basketball-wise is very important to me. Yeah. Especially school. <laughs> um, and I remember, I believe I spoke to you earlier, um, I think it was around the Truman journey, and correct me if I'm wrong, you said you, you, you moved a couple times when you were a kid. I think you said you grew up in Inglewood, is that correct? Yes. All right, now, Inglewood, obviously, not the greatest neighborhood, um, a lot of violence. How do you believe growing up in an area like that has molded you to the person and player you are today? Um, well, my grandparents said Inglewood. Yeah, um, it was, at, at that young age for me, it was very different from how it is now, obviously. But I feel like it wanted me to be a better person to see the, the poverty we came from as a community. And it just kind of pushed me to get to the better track and the better side of myself and help my family more. And obviously, Inglewood, part of Chicago. What do you believe is, is the solution to the violence that has plagued the city of Chicago? Honestly, I say talk. We have to sit down and talk. We have to actually open up ourselves and our community and sit down with policemen or whoever it is, whoever it may be, and actually talk to them and let them know like what is going on. Like, how can we make it better? How can they make it better? We have to just, it's communication at the end of the day. All right, um, obviously, like I said, you're new to college basketball, you have to see basketball. You come from Joliet, straight to college. What, what is the biggest difference you've known in the high school basketball to college basketball? What's the biggest difference in the style of play? Faster, um, slower? What, what's <coughs> the obvious one is speed. The game is a lot faster. It's a lot longer. You're gonna have to get quicker. You're gonna have to be better as a person. You're gonna have to grow as a player. So it's very difficult, like transitioning from high school to college. But for the most part, it's doable. If you couldn't work, you're gonna, you're gonna succeed. And obviously, last year you you played in the I don't know if you played in the Pontiac Holiday Tournament. Yes, you did. You your team did, but you said that you had some injury issues. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, my junior year, I was co we were being coached under uh, Coach Luke Black. Ah, Luke, I can't say Coach Young last year. Okay. He's an assistant for um, Illinois State now. I hope he's doing good. Shout out to Coach Yacht. Um, I had surgery on my shoulder. I dislocated it four times that summer. Came back, got re um, released to play, fractured my foot twice. Then going into my senior year, um, right before trials, a few weeks before, I had um, problems with my appendix. Well, yes, my appendix on this side. I had surgery. We got taken out, so everything's good. Everything's healthy. That's about it for the industry side. Now, I know, pretty big NBA fan. Now, there's, I believe there's this NBA player. I don't know if he's any good. His name's Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant! Okay, people say he's, yeah, he's very yeah. good. Obviously, your favorite player, why? How hard he works. He, he works as, as he's trying to get into the NBA. He stays focused, he doesn't get too hype. Like, doesn't try to do too much. Like at times he does, he's gonna have to. He's, he's that player. Like he's that person that the team has to play through. So he's a great, he's a phenomenal player. And I watch his workouts, I watch Paul George workouts. Yeah. Workouts, I watch Chris Pauls, I watch a lot of I watch a lot of NBA players and how they work out and what they mentally prepare and how they physically prepare. So that that helps me a lot. But Kevin Durant, I just overall watch his footwork, being so tall, and um his shoot his shot is perfect. It's, all the time, it's a great release. It's tight. It's closed. The release the rotation of the ball is wonderful. It's just great overall. It's a great player to watch. It's exciting. 
Now Kevin Durant obviously is on the MVP speech. It's quite emotional. But if, from what I take from it, I was watching it the other day. He talked about growing up in a tough neighborhood, uh, being raised by a single mom. And then you tell us your story about how you grew up in Inglewood, not the greatest neighborhood. Do you see that connection? Is that another reason why you find a liking in a guy like Kevin Durant? Yes, it's very, it's very similar um, things that happen. The difference is I came up with my, both my parents. Sorry to say for him, like most people, but um, it was it was a great film. Like that, having a great environment around your family and having them support you and knowing that they support you with anything you do is is a wonderful thing. And I know it was tougher on him being that single parent coming from his mom and having the parents and both his um, brother and him. Um, but I think that it, it just drives you. It drives you to do better and want better for yourself and for the people around you. Right. And obviously, as you see, what are your plans after here? Do you have any ideas of maybe playing ball in another university or Actually, other college? I thought about going to trying to transfer to UIC or uh, Biola College. Uh, I'm still working on it, still getting my grades right. It's good right now. It could be better. I'm still working on it. It's still a process. It's a long process. College isn't easy. And coming from high school, it's, <laughs> it's nowhere near as easy as high school. And um, self-managing myself is is most important. And it's, it's helping me a lot. I'm learning. And I'm growing as a person and as a young man. And my family has told me that, so I'm very happy that they see that in me. And they see the better in me changing. I'm, I'm really, really happy and proud of myself. But I'm not done. I keep going. That's right. And. I mean, the shoe game. Well, oh, tell us man. a little bit about that. Why don't you show the oh, viewers you gotta, what, what are you wearing right now? I'm wearing what the KDs, you know. It's a little something. Mm -hmm. I just recently picked up another pair. Just picked up another pair. Now, how many pairs do you have? Are you a mm -hmm. KD fanatic? How many you got? Well, the KD sixes. I have six pairs. I have a Christmas pair. I have the peanut butter jellies. I have what the KDs. I have Black History Months. I have the Volts. And I have the lighters. Those are my six pair. My KD fives or fours. I, I don't remember. It was the first one with the strap. I got a custom pair. That was my first ever pair. Then this, the shoe right before this, the tall, high, high top ones. I have, I have a custom pair of those. So overall, I have about six of these. Uh, about eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine pairs of KDs. This guy's ridiculous. But uh, now your brother, he came through this program. Uh, I believe he graduated, was it last year? Yes. yes. Last year. Um, Brandon, his name. Um, now, seeing him come through this program, was there, I mean, was, did that help in your decision to say, hmm, DCC, maybe that's where I want to play ball? Or was this just something out of the ordinary? It definitely helped my decision. I felt more comfortable coming from high school, obviously. Yeah, um, he guided me through it. He, he, true big brother and he helped me. He was, he was there for me when I needed to talk about the program or if I had any questions. And I, I had an open relationship with the coach so I could go to talk to him anytime. So overall it was just a comforting feeling of making my decision to come to ACC this year. Mm -hmm. Well, last question. What can Spartan fans expect out of you at least five for oh. the rest of the year? Just to be a crazy and caring teammate and to keep encouraging my teammates to do better and to push me and myself and the coaching staff. Nobody can take a day off. That's right. Thanks, that was Elliot. Bye. How you doing?